girls. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm just sitting here thinking about how much I'm going to miss you next week. This is your last week, girl. Have you figured out what we're going to do next week about these devotionals? <laughs> I'm going to miss you. Like my music? Girl, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you, but make sure you connect with me. Make sure you subscribe, share. Um, you can find me on Facebook. And my website is coming soon. It's going to be my name, Janice Hilton Blog. J-A-N-I-C-E Hilton, H-Y-L-T-O-N-B-L-O-G. If you, if you go on there now, it's there. It's just not ready. So be sure to connect with me, girl. I have a lot of stuff coming, coming, but... Check in with my channel. Share, okay? Share, share, share. Invite a friend, tell a friend, girl. Come see this girl. All right, today's devotional is I Am Beloved. And this week we're talking about it's uh, Resident Beloved. Mm -mm -mm. Like my pink lipstick? I found it. <laughs> First John 4 7. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. I think that was the second verse I learned as a little girl. We, matter of fact, we had a song talk about uh, the love of God. I'll sing it for you on there right now. I'm feeling this music right here. It says, uh, uh, John the Baptist, which is the cousin of the Lord Jesus Christ, Elizabeth and Mary were cousins. John uh, is the son of Elizabeth and uh jesus son of mary so their cousin so there was another john and he's known as the disciple that jesus loved he was the youngest one and um and that 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 reminds me to say john the one that jesus loved is the one that wrote for J this john okay he wrote john he wrote first john second john third john and this john the uh gospel of john and what did he write how did he describe himself? He described himself as the disciple that Jesus loved. Okay. So it said the Apostle John, also known as the disciple whom Jesus loves, wrote the letter we call First John. John used a lot of words that express God's love and emotions towards us. One of those words is beloved, which means to be loved of God. It is a word of caring and deep feelings. John encourages the beloved of God to love each other because God is love. You are the beloved of God. Since God is love and we are his children, remember we talked about who are the children of God. Everybody, every person on the earth is not a child of God. A child of God is an act of faith. So please go back and listen to those devotionals. I'll try to link it below. Then, since God is love and we are his children, we need to love each other and walk in love. We can love everyone because we have experienced the love of God for ourselves. In your everyday life, remember to walk in love and love all, even those who are not nice to you. Pray for them and ask the Lord to help you to walk in love and love them. Most importantly, remember that God loves you. Amen. God loves you, girl. He loves you and I love you too. Today's activity is say it, believe it, think it, and be it. I am God's beloved. He loves me. Amen. So just remember today. God loves you, and I love you, and come back tomorrow for another devotional. This is our last week. I'm starting to miss you. <laughs> please share. Please subscribe. Please invite a friend, and I will see you tomorrow. I love you, love you, love you, love you. See you tomorrow. Bye.